Hello there, my name's Daniel, and I live with a red face. Now, if you're like me, you're probably watching this because you live with a red face. You don't know why you go red in the face, but for some reason, whenever you're out and about or you look at yourself in photos, you seem to have a redness to your complexion. Now, I'm shooting this video on purpose just after I got back from a gym workout because I want you to see how naturally red I get in the face. This is after working out for about half an hour, but it doesn't just happen for me when I work out. It happens when I get anxious. It happens if I get excited. It happens if I drink alcohol. It happens if I'm in a dusty location. It happens if I'm in the sun. When I see myself in photographs with other people, I'm always the reddest person, particularly around my nose and my forehead. It's just how I am. All the time in my life, I live with this reality that I'm gonna go red in the face just like this. So I wanted to create this video because if you're like me, you're probably living with this reality of having a red face. And in this video, I wanna show you some ways that I have learned to live with it, to reduce it, and to overcome the anxiety that is part of having a red face. Okay, so let's start with the physical aspects that lead to having a red face. And I want to start by saying, I am not a doctor or a dermatologist. I'm just a normal everyday person who lives with this red face reality. And I have spent a lot of time online, like I'm sure you have. I've, seen, I've sought out professional help and I've tried a lot of different solutions to try and reduce the redness that I have. And I found some solutions that do help, but there's four particular things that I think affect it for me and hopefully will help you to find some solutions for yourself as well. So the very first one that affects redness in the face, I've noticed, is the sun. Now I live in beautiful, sunny Southern California. I'm very fortunate to do so. But the reality is that nine days out of 10, I am exposed to the sun. Now, if you've read anything about sun exposure, the UV exposure, that's just a natural part of being outdoors or near windows, then you know that that affects your skin. I, in particular, I've noticed, if, especially since I got to the age of around 35 to 40, started to be much more sensitive to the effects of the sun. So what I did was start to wear a daily SPF. Now I have the exact product that I use here, no product placements, I'm not getting any money for this, but I wanna show you, it's the Neutrogena Age Shield I don't know if that's clear or not. The Neutrogena Age Shield 110, and I'll link to it down in the video below. It comes in a little container, it looks like this when you get it out of the pack, and really you can take it anywhere you want with you. I just put it on a couple of minutes before I leave in the morning. So I brush my teeth before I leave the house, and I also put on my sunscreen. Now, I just wear this every single day. It's not greasy, it's not, um, you know, it doesn't cause breakouts. It just helps me to reduce the amount of sun damage that I get. If I'm gonna be out in the sun for a while, say I'm at the beach or at the pool, I really layer it on my face. So my sun Sun, my face almost gets no sun exposure at all. And that really helps to reduce that redness over time. The second factor for me is diet. Now I hate to be the one to have to rain on your parade, but unfortunately what you eat and what you drink does affect the complexion of your face, at least for me. And I've noticed that if I eat you know, fatty foods, if I eat a lot of gluten, if I eat a lot of sugar or a lot of salt, unfortunately my redness in my face tends to flare up. It's the same thing with alcohol. Now I like to drink beer, that's my drink of choice when I go out. And I know the reality is if I drink beers that have a lot of wheat in them, a lot of gluten, then I'm going to get red in the face. Now, sometimes I just decide to do this because I wanna have a few beers and I wanna enjoy myself, but the reality is it's going to happen. So what I've noticed is if I wanna have a really clear complexion, one of the best ways to do it is to eat a lot of leafy green foods. So spinach, kale, different you know vegetables like that. Pretty much anything that's in the vegetable aisle that doesn't taste great on its own, but is actually very highly nutritious that dark leafy green food really if I eat a lot of that for a couple of weeks my complexion the redness starts to go down so that's diet the second one's pretty obvious but sometimes you don't link it for yourself I didn't for a long time but it's definitely a factor the third factor is hydration now you've probably heard it said a hundred times that you need to drink more water but I have found in my experience that drinking more water actually helps to reduce the redness that I have in my face now what I do is when I wake up in the morning I drink two to three large glasses of water it's not really easy to do, but I force myself to do it first thing in the morning. It helps me to wake up, but it also reduces the amount of redness that I have in my face. Now, if you're drinking a lot of water, say, I don't know, eight to 10 glasses of water per day, you'll probably, redu you'll probably notice a little bit of a reduction in the redness in your face, but you'll also have to go to the bathroom a lot more. That's the downside of drinking a lot of water. You probably have experienced this before in your life. Also, what you're doing is losing a lot of electrolytes out of your body when you're drinking a lot of water because 
you know, it's passing back out through you, right? So what you need is an electrolyte. And this is the brand that I like. They're called Electromix. They're a great little, you know, supplement that you can add to your drinks. And they are about $8 on Amazon for a pack of 30. Really great. Again, no, no, uh, you know, agenda, but I will link to them in the description so you can see what I use. And I have found the mix of drinking a lot of water and electrolytes really helps to reduce the amount of redness that I have in my face. The fourth factor is skincare. Now, as a man, that's not typically something that we learn about, and that's why I'm creating this video for the men out there who have a red face, but also the women. Women typically have better skincare routines than men, but I have learned that a good cleanser, toner, and moisturizer every day helps to calm down my skin, keeps it blemish free as well, but it does reduce the redness that I notice. Now, there are also certain types of makeup that you can get, and for men, yes, men can wear makeup as well. In fact, I'm a professional speaker, so sometimes when I'm on stage, I'll put a little bit of makeup on, embarrassing maybe to admit that, but I will because it just takes away the glare on my face and also reduces the redness. And you can buy makeups that have a green tinge to them, which will reduce the redness even further. So that's another tip, but skincare is an important factor. And particularly for men who have red faces, it might be something that we ignore, but it can be very important to help you reduce that redness that you live with. So that's the physical factors, and I have found that those four things, sun care, diet, hydration, and skin care, really have helped me to physically reduce the amount of redness that I have in my face. On the other side of the coin, you have the emotional factors. So the first one that I want to address is stress. Now, all of us have some level of stress in our lives. It depends on our, you know, our occupation, our family situation, our relationships, our environment. All of us have a different level of stress in our lives. I have noticed when I get very stressed, when I have a lot of things happening, when I'm kind of pulled in different directions, when I have a lot of frustrations, you know, maybe I'm getting angry and upset in my life, my skin tends to flare up. I'm a lot more red than if I'm calm and relaxed. So stress is definitely a factor that personally for me affects the redness in my face and I have to be aware of. So if I notice that my face is very red, it's actually a good sign for me to chill out, to take a day off, to get some good sleep, to relax, to unwind a little bit. So I would say that in a way, having a red face because of stress is actually a healthy warning sign, right? It's helping you to actually know that you need to relax and unwind. Another factor that really helps is exercise. Now, I've recently got back into working out every single day, which has been a great habit that I've been forming. And I have found because of the endorphin kick of exercising every day, my stress has reduced as well. Unfortunately, when I get back from the gym, like right now, my face is very red for about half an hour to an hour. But once I you know, drink some electrolytes and I put some moisturizer on, then I find that it will calm down again. So don't worry, exercise won't make it more red. It actually reduces the stress long-term. And of course, as you know, exercise is much healthier for a long-term lifestyle. And the second emotional factor that affects redness in your face, I believe, is self-consciousness. Now, unfortunately, if you tend to go red in the face or you have a naturally red complexion like I do, sometimes people will mention it to you. You probably hear people say something like, oh, you got a little bit of sun, you look sunburnt, or wow, you're really red in the face, are you okay? And unfortunately, when that happens, you start to get self-conscious, which makes you even more red because you start blushing. And it's this vicious cycle that you can't get out of. I know it really well. Now, I'm a 40-year-old man. I'm not some, you know, 12-year-old shy, gushing teenager, but I still suffer with this same problem where my face is red and people will say to me, oh, it looks like you got sunburned, right? Now, it used to really upset me when this would happen because I would think, damn it, why am I so red? Why is this happening to me? And I realized that the easy answer to this problem is actually just to say, yes, I did. Even if you didn't get any sun, just say that you did and people will drop the conversation. So that's one thing that will help you to be less self-conscious if people mention that you look sunburnt. That one comes up a lot. And if someone says to you, oh wow, you look really red in the face, just say, yeah, I know it happens sometimes. If you agree and acknowledge it, it's done. And then you can move on from it. Now, as well as this, it's, I think it's really important to think about the fact that your redness in the face is a part of who you uniquely are. All of us have factors that are part of our physical makeup that we can't help, right? You know, for me, my hair started to recede when I was in my early 20s, and I've had to learn to live with that as well. But I live with it, and I don't let it stop me. And it's the same thing with redness in the face. The fact is that nobody really cares if you're red in the face. Nowhere near as much as you think that they do. They are much more worried about what you think of them than what they actually feel or think about you. 
So keep that in mind, it's a little bit of a secret that I had to learn over many years in my life, is to accept the fact that this is just part of who I am, and there are physical things that I can do, and emotional things that I can do to take care of myself that will reduce the redness. But at the same time, it's a factor about yourself that you just have to accept, and in a way, you learn to love it. Now, I'm not saying that having a red face is the most awesome thing in the world, but it is a reality that you live with. And my hope with this video is that it's given you some ideas to help you reduce it and to learn that you can live with it and live a fully functioning life. At the end of the day, the people who you spend time with love you for who you are, and you should do the same thing. Remember again that people have much less concern about your redness than you think, and realize that there are things that you can do to reduce it. And if you look at my face right now, it is very red and the reason I wanted to do this video right now was to show you that I can still function, I can still do things with my life that are great even though I have a red face at times. I hope that this video has been helpful for you. If you know someone else who has a red face, please share it with them because I would love to get the message out in a way where we can kind of share this knowledge and we can unite. Also, if you have suggestions of things that you've done to reduce the redness in your face, post them in the comments below because it will really help and you never know out there who might benefit from your suggestion. So thanks again for watching, thanks for being an awesome person, and thank you for improving yourself.